Well, you may think now is not a great time to buy a house. But despite coronavirus shutdowns and job losses, buyers could be coming back to the housing market faster than anticipated. Joining us now to talk about it in depth, financial expert Pete the Planner. Pete, good to see you here. How have you been since we chatted last? Uh, I, I've been well. Still no hair growth, but I'm holding out hope. <laughs> well, you, you still have the chin. That, that is a, a ripe That's territory true. there. So um, uh, talk to me about, um, you know, mortgage applications. Do you know where they stand? Because that tends to be... Um, a pretty good barometer. Yeah, there's various times throughout this uh, economic crisis that I really hoped I was wrong. And one of them was my feelings about housing. I, I thought the housing markets would take it on the chin, and they mm -hmm. did early. You know, uh, mortgage applications for home buying were down 35% off previous years just six weeks ago. But Ray, I'll tell you, great news this morning. They've recovered incredibly well. We're now just one and a half percent behind last year's numbers as it relates to this week in lending. That's to say, people are feeling confident. People are wanting to spend money. It surprises me. I'm a mm -hmm. little bit shocked. And I also say it doesn't mean it's a good idea. However, it's a good sign. And even Walmart's uh, in their earnings yesterday said that people are robustly buying uh, consumer goods. And so, and, and not just pandemic related consumer goods, just like they're spending money. So mm -hmm. that's interesting, it's good news. Um, if you want to hear it right from the realtor's mouth, my, I asked my wife, I said, how would you describe the housing market? She said, overall numbers are down from last year, but it is good. If you put a house on the market, it usually goes pretty fast. Uh, I think a lot of that depends on, you know, where, what kind of house, what, what is the market like. But so that's a promising um, sign that I read here. Where do you think things will go from here? Well, I, I think, especially in Indiana, the next three weeks are everything. Uh, not to be overly dramatic more than usual, uh, but I, I think it'll really depend of what's what the uptick of viruses are. And if we don't see much of an uptick, I, I, th I think things will begin to really start opening up. And the key, of course, is these jobs coming back before July, which is sort of the drop dead of when the enhancement ends on unemployment benefits. But I'll say all things considered, what is today, uh, May 20th? We're in a pretty good spot right now. And I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> you know, they, they say location, location, location. I think right now it's vaccine, vaccine, vaccine. And the quicker we have, you know, a definitive uh, word that gives us a lot of clarity, I think that will help solve, you know, not all, but a, a lot of our, our financial, you know, uncertainty right now. Yeah, the, the next big number to come out will be early June when we see May's consumer confidence numbers. Uh, those are a leading indicator of what people are doing, obviously down in March, down in April. Will that downward trend continue or will it tick up? I think it's going to tick up, which could really skyrocket the economy. And plus the cicadas are coming back after 17 years. The 17 oh, that's years good of cicada. News. Sounds like a plague or something. <laughs> um, Pete, always great to chat with you. We, we appreciate I don't know what the cicada has to do with any of it, but it's a 17 year cycle. And what we're talking about is cyclical. We'll see you. Hope we're going to see you tomorrow. I know it was a big uh, graduation day for you uh, last night, right? Or today, yeah, but the ceremony yesterday. Last day of school today. So, yeah, the teachers are being celebrated today. Okay, well, you tell Ted and Ollie we said congratulations. Will do. All right, see you later. See you when we see you, Pete. Yep. All right, it's 826, Ange. Hey, early.